Right. Only Eyewitness News 4 has the first independent poll in the congressional race between Martin Heinrich and John Barella. It's our exclusive Survey USA poll, and it packs a surprise. Stuart Dyson is here to tell us about it. Stu? And to some people, this one's kind of a shocker. How about this, Tom, for political drama here in New Mexico? The, the, the incumbent Democratic congressman running behind the Republican challenger. Sign of the times, maybe. Maybe a backlash against Obama and the Democrats. Here's what it looks like. Survey USA polling 559 likely voters over the last four days, finding 51% favoring uh, Republican John Barella, 45% favoring the guy who's got the job right now, Martin Heinrich, the Democratic congressman. They uh, uh, want an independent voice in Washington. Uh, they are looking for answers to create jobs. They're looking for uh, another alternative to uh, the higher debt and higher deficit agenda that Mr. Heinrich has pursued. There's some hope for Heinrich. He leads Barella among women by a narrow margin. But among male voters, Barella has a substantial lead. Hispanic voters favoring the Anglo Heinrich, while more Anglos are supporting the Hispanic. Barella politics in New Mexico. Heinrich's campaign released to us their own uh, internal polling, Tom, uh, and it's showing uh, that the congressman, Heinrich, has a comfortable 12-point lead over Barella. That poll uh, done about two weeks ago in New Mexico, about the same sample size. Survey USA is current and it's independent. It is not associated with any campaign. It's ours. Now, Heinrich beat uh, Darren White by a sizable margin in the general election, 12%, if I remember correctly. Oh, eight, yeah, 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 about 12%. If Survey USA is right, what's happened to Heinrich? He may be being washed out with the same kind of wave that's a backlash against Obama and uh, the Democrats in the majority controlling the United States Congress. We're going to have to hang on and see. It's summertime, but still November, just about three months away for the election day. Coming quicker than we uh, planned. <laughs> it seems that way. Okay, thanks.